Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to Kenshi Birth of a Hive. So, uh, last episode we had our traders out here. And uh, it looks to me like we have a rather sizable um, raid coming in. I don't think they're going to get home in time. But uh, from a role-playing standpoint, they're not going to stay out of the... Uh, out of the hive without trying to get home. So I'm going to start to send them home. All right, another thing I needed to do, uh, let's go over to crab here. So I have some tips. I don't want to go over these tips real quick. The first tip is from Andrew Needham, mentioning that the best bang for my buck in terms of leveling the weaponsmith is the Dev Saber because it takes 10 hours to make and only costs five plates. Um, so taking a look at my weapons here, I took a look real quick. The Naginata was the best ROI. It takes seven hours, costs six materials. Everything else is either a one-to-one -one ratio or worse. So I don't have the desert uh, saber yet, but I will look for that blueprint. Another thing I might have done, uh, this was highly suggested and requested, which is a sniper perch on the jetty, let's call it. Uh, this is basically what it is. Um, yes, so we will set that up. Jay will start working on it. Oops, swarm is being targeted... Uh, so what I'm going to do here is have them all on passive, so we don't retaliate against uh, any would-be attackers. I'm going to try to get these guys home as fast as I can. Um, let's see, I also need to do some other things. So, the Hashish, I have a tip relating to that from uh, Churse. Churse mentioned if I put the Hashish on the Bone Dogs, and send the Bone Dogs separately from the group, the gate guards won't check the bone dog's backpacks. And that's one really easy way to smuggle drugs into a city where it is illegal. That's it. That's a very, very good point. Um, Skith looks like there's no more grog for you. Now, the reason why I've been forcing them to sit here is so that I can get a head count of idle uh, characters. So, some people were wondering why I was, you know, forcing the stool sitting. It's because... If I looked here of who's idle, I could very easily miss someone. Um, you know, I would miss, in this case, Skith, who is in the throne room. That's fine, I don't really care who sits on the throne. But uh, I need to know that they're idle. That's the important bit. So taking a quick look at my farms. It looks like somehow Meat Pants, being amazing as he is, is keeping up with the demand of all of those farms. As you can see, it does not require a lot of... Um, Hivers to make sure a farm is happy, uh, which is good, I s suppose. So now that there is one stool out here, uh, one thing I was going to do is Green and Hella are going to um, sit out there as a permanent job. So I'm actually going to set Hella up over here. What I need to do is there is a very it's called a horde raid right so that means that there's a lot of enemies incoming uh which means i'm definitely going to be undermanned even if everyone was home i'd still probably die to be honest oh did that um lost howler finally uh leave it does appear like he drowned or left or something i don't see him so Last I checked, he was... Oh, no, no, he's right here. Uh, okay. I think he died. No, he's just playing dead. Can I pick him up? Oh, that was badass. All right. Let's go um, drop him off in the middle of something terrible. Uh, so, Jay, you are going to haul to the Hashish after you... Uh, Make the hemp. The hemp processing. Green, you need to re-up on your bolts. And then we're going to have you permanently sit here. Out on the sniper jetty. Alright, so I got the lost howler. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is feed him to my swords of the queen. Or words of the quee, as it looks like it is. And I'm going to do this smartly by, uh, let's see, Chez. 
I know Chez deeply, deeply wants a big whacking stick, so uh, I will actually acquiesce to that request. And for now, uh, I'm going to gear him up in this armor. We do have a sizable raid coming. I don't think I'm going to be able to really, truly thwart the raid, but I will do what I can. So now this uh, Howler is naked. Um, I just put him down, but I am not sure where he went. Doesn't really matter. There's been a lot of people contesting my use of um, my use of the execute mod. A lot of people find it uh, cheap or distasteful or some word like that. Um, so with that in mind, I will limit the use of it and put it back up for vote soon um, when we vote on the next wave of things to change in this series. Uh, understanding that, yeah, uh, most people don't like it. I, I, I get that. And I accept that. Alright, beep. What is the better weapon? Oh, this is. Upgrades. Uh, Queen, you're gonna get some horse chopper for now. Maybe not the most romantic weapon, but it's gonna work for you. Um. Alright, Skith. I have no idea why you're even out there. So, one of the reasons why I sent Hella out here is we have a giant horde coming here, and I'm just not going to be able to stop them. Um, I know what a horde means. It means 50 plus cannibals that are geared up way beyond what I'm currently wearing. So, um, I'm going to have Hella spring a trap. Now, I did have a comment. Oh, well, one more tip that I received from Ron, you know, the, the patron that Ron in the keepers or in the uh, hands of the, he's in the swarm. Ron in the Swarm said, which is that um, because of where we live, meaning that we are on the Iron Trail, uh, the Iron Spiders are going to always respawn. There's always going to be more spiders. That's just the way that um, this area works. So we'll have a steady stream of electrical components and spiders and the like. So what I'm doing with Hella here is... Trying to move these spiders into the path of the raid. And I did want to mention something. Oh, wow, these spiders are real stuck. There we go. I did want to mention something. Uh, ooh, Swarm is being attacked. Hang on. By a rather... Oof, that's going to hurt. By a rather large group of uh, cannibals. And now I'm micromanaging two fights. Alright, I'm having Hella back off of that. I'm gonna make sure that everyone can run. Yeah, okay. No one is slow in this group. You can see just by how fast they're currently running. Alright, these guys are not likely getting home before the raid comes to my doorstep. It looks like those cannibals... Did I? What happened here? Oh, I must have murked one real quick. I don't know actually who hurt you. But uh, I'm guessing that was me. So, apparently I'm a Jackson Pollock by day. And a Hiver by night. Actually, it's night. I'm a Jackson Pollock by night. Alright, uh, Red Rain I think wants to play at limbs. Yeah, he does. Alright, Ronald. Let's pick him up. Nope, couldn't pick him up. Because I also need to check on Hella, as Hella is definitely not um, safe where she is. Alright, Red Rain is now being healed. Ron can, I believe, run. Yeah, he can run fine with Red Rain on his shoulders. Uh, Thorns being, I guess, a proper adult. Oh, Thorns is an elder now. Congratulations, Thorns. Uh, you are now an Elder Bone Dog, uh, which means your stats are ridiculously high. Uh, Alright, let's get going. Let's keep moving. Let's try to not run into any more um, cannibal parties. Because, yeah, I don't like being the pinata at a party. So let's run this way. Alright, back to Hella. So we've got very little time until this raid is upon us. Now, of course, I could just pull up stakes and abandon the base. 
Um, what I was trying to say before the swarm caravan was attacked was that um, uh, that there is a difference to me, maybe not to you, but there's a difference to me, me kiting enemies and sort of booby trap in the area um, when I'm doing it defensively versus when I'm doing it offensively. So the difference to me is that when I'm doing it here, uh, I'm defending my hive. If I do it at like a lost armory or something like that, I'm not defending my hive. I'm just exploiting game mechanics for my benefit. Oh, we really should have green doing this. Don't chase hella. Run, run, run. All right, green, I'm going to send you over here. Green is our really good swimmer. Uh, oh, but even our um, jetty now is... Uh, uh, sort of bugged up. No, I didn't want you to leave in the... Alright, green is going to slowly kill this spider if it don't move. Come on, spideys. Yeah, alright, they're leaving the jetty. Uh, I'm doing a very bad job of kiting them into the enemies. I have fewer now than I ever did. I could probably put Red Rain down, but uh, since I'm happy to carry him, Ron doesn't really mind. I'll just leave him on my shoulders. Oh, is this one dead? Oh, it's rebooting. Oh, the someone knocked these guys out. Probably a lost babbler. But uh, while they reboot, let me just uh, loot. I only need to loot one item off of each for them to be deactivated. Alright, green, you're a good swimmer. Come on, move these spiders. I'm a spider rancher. Alright, these spiders are obviously malfunctioning. They can't figure out what land is or something. Okay, one is moving towards us. <laughs> the us, the rest are like having seizures. The uh, robotic equivalent of seizures. Alright, don't hurt Hella. So what I think I'm going to need to do is when this horde comes, I'm going to need to be a little proactive and dance around the horde while dragging spiders into them. Because I really don't see uh, another way. Otherwise, I just send all of my uh, hivers to the ocean. Is the alternative. I'm sort of curious if there's groups of spiders on their path that I can have piled up. No, there seems to only be one active. And it's this one. It's too bad. Let's head back. That's obviously that plan is gonna is doomed to fail. Um, hmm. Oh, Skith, you're liking the the view of me dancing around these spiders. Dances with iron spiders should be the name of this episode. Oh, some of them are um, properly dancing into the into the bridge. I thought I set you. Oh. Yeah, no, these things... Alright, the swarm is getting attacked again. Despite being on passive, they keep picking fights. Soon they'll be out of the cannibal planes, and it will be a little bit easier. But let me just check the wounds here. Uh, nothing serious. These are scrawnies, so they really don't pack punches. Oh, but I do. <laughs> we we crippled two and knocked the the snot out of one to the point where he's bleeding to death. All while not looking. Alright, 
how much time do I've got? Uh, really none at all. Well, that's good. What's there to loot here? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's do quick patch up. A follow and continue to run. Again, acknowledging that we're not making it home in time, and I, I know this. Alright, so these guys have been shooting iron spiders this whole time. Um, and take them off of ranged. Yeah, even right click targeting them, they're really just not leaving their, uh, the water here. This one's active. Swarm is getting hit again. I can't keep checking over. Alright, Mr. Skith. When you are idle, sit over here. Alright, we're really getting targeted. There are uh, howlers that are persistently chasing me. How beautiful is that? The trouble with having a caravan is I am constantly having to change focus, which is tricky. Um, speaking of which, crab. Mr. Crab. Let's get rid of iron clubs. You're just going to be making naginatas now. Alright, swarm here. Let's keep coming home. Let's just beeline here, actually. I'll just order it in direct. Alright, so here is the cannibal. Oh, you know what? Actually, that doesn't look so bad. If that's all of them. I was expecting more. You know, expect the worst, hope for the best. Is really the proper way of uh, preparation. Angel and Meat Pants deciding to take the jetty seats. Alright, I of course am, uh, have no mercy and no honor when it comes to cannibals. If you're coming to eat me, I don't, uh, I don't play fair. That raid there is getting squished pretty hard by that one spider. Imagine if I could move the whole group of them. Alright, Chez and Thor and Beep, they're all ready. Ready to fight when these guys make mainland. But I'm happy to give my uh, crossbow hivers plenty of time to get the shots off that they want. This is the way to train. Now, some of them... Oh, meat pants, are you going to help? Angel, come back here too. Yeah, they're still working on that one spider? Oh, you guys are smushed. Yeah, they're... they're they <laughs> I really thought it was a larger horde. Didn't it say horde? Yeah, Grand Wizard's Horde. Maybe that's what's upcoming. Because this is no Horde. Uh, Meat Pants is on passive. Oh, you're going to the seats. He's going to go try to sit. Um, what I need is enough chairs over here to prevent that. Alright, Chez, Thor, and Beep. And Sang Sanghealy. Let's... Uh, Get ready for the melee. Angel, you are going to sit. Alright, Chez. Chez uh, really wanted to take a whack at these guys. and I said that most people... It, the, the weapons... The big clubs are hilarious, but they're really terribly ineffective as weapons. Because you can barely swing them. So it's rare that they even connect to a target. Uh, which is, you know, a little bit of a problem. Oh, even Queen's coming out. Alright, Queen, go on passive. Go and research. Your hive got this. This is not a particularly tough fight. Uh, so here's what we'll do. Um, for now, 
the execute mod, I will uh, limit the amount of use because a lot of people find it uh, distasteful. And uh, I, I can accept that. And then put it back to a vote. But what we're going to do... Oop, that's my weapon. He's definitely smelt anything that they were wearing. I don't need to look like a cannibal. And these arms and armor do sell for a lot. But my caravan really ought to be selling Hiver stuff. Or stuff I manufacture. I'm not just a scavenger, right? That's a, that's a different job. Well, uh, only one made it through that raid. Some of them are patching up or something. But uh, here is the the leader, I think. The man catcher. Uh, Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on ending this spider. Really? You shoot just your friend here. Oh, and then uh, we will full-on loot. Green, you've got bolts. Why aren't you shooting? Oh, I see some of them are up. All right, let's go with send. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have them um, queued and waiting. I might actually just melee the uh, Iron Spider down, too. So some of these cannibals have patched themselves up, so it's going to be important for me to loot them quick. Uh, I'm also going to make sure that my raid... Oh, you know what? It looks like uh, some of their raid got hung up on their way here. So what I'm going to do is send minus to this downed person. that It's probably where an iron spider knocked them out. Alright. Uh, Chez is coming, but he's taking a while. So, Beep Thor and Sanghealy are gonna have to uh, do a little cannibal catcher on their own. I'm also deactivating this iron spider because... Uh, I feel about done with getting beat by them. Ooh, that was good hit, good shots. I like using their own hooks against them. There's some glorious justice in that. Alright, and then some of them, of course, as you can see here, were... Um, Playing dead and weren't dead. Oh, here's a few more limpers. Alright. Come on, Chez. Chez is so unbelievably encumbered, it's like a joke. Uh, let's go and take... Their weapons. Cannibal Chief's Pointed Helm. Alright, so this is the boss man that I'm looting, maybe? Or maybe he just has a Pointed Helm uh, item or something, I don't know. I feel like I'm killing zombies now. <laughs> they blocked it. Uh, why is Geyser being targeted? Oh, there's a scrawny that came and broke, probably swam through the lines here. So, uh, one, two, three. I know I need to check back on them, but let's just jump this guy. Alright, green, you should not be meleeing. Chunk, ka chunk. All right, Hella, where uh, you're going to help them out? All right, so what I'm most interested in is to loot these guys and turn their stuff into 
raw iron and uh, anything that's worth like a crazy amount, I can consider selling, but I think I'd prefer just to melt it all down. Um, make my armor out of the armor of my enemies. Seems pretty metal to me. Alright, so green's full up. Chez is never going to be able to, to carry anything. Let's watch this fight. Oh, this is a proper... This isn't a scrawny. This is like a real cannibal that broke the lines. Um... That's okay. He's dead. Or not dead. He's uh, looted and unconscious and bleeding out pretty severely. Close enough to dead, I'd like to say. Alright, how's the swarm? Let's check in on them. They are closing in on the base here pretty good. Alright, back to these guys. So, let's, uh, let's loot up. So, I don't... My backpacks don't accommodate for, um any of their weapons, so I'll have to come back for that. Oh, well, I can take that weapon. And we're just going to be turning this stuff into raw iron, and then I can turn it back into hybrid arm armor uh, after some processing. Which is pretty awesome. Alright, so the larger thieves backpacks can fit the meat hooks and the like. So, I'll probably have Hella reserved in looting uh, the weapons off of them. Uh, Chez is probably encumbered enough. Alright, just a meat hook on that one. Let's find some armor. And they did not like me looting them, so they got back up. Yeah. I guess I don't need a really iron mine. I can cannibal mine. It's stranger, but it's pretty functional. Alright, so she is... Ready to make a run to the incinerator. I also still have to be mighty careful of the um, iron spiders that are plentiful and not going to back down. You know, they don't know retreat. Swarm is being targeted but not attacked yet, so I, I'm going to have to check in on that. Alright, green, you filled up as well. We also have a bunch of cannibal tablets, which allows us to make cannibal uh, armor, if we so choose. Let's check in on Swarm. It's probably an iron spider. As you could... Oh, no, it's... Uh, it was a lost howler. That's probably the one that was swimming around, don't you think? That'd be my guess. But my chief goal here is to get home. So, we'll do just that. Alright, so Hella's carrying some stuff back. Uh, Chez, can you find a dead body? Like an actual dead one. Because, apparently the ex... Oh, here's a dead, dead one. Alright, let's pick him up. So the good thing about this... My strength XP, really, really, really high, and Chez is picking this guy up to incinerate him. So, picking him up for a reason. Splat. Alright, saying Healy, let's get you to haul some stuff. You don't even have a backpack yet. So, that's about all you can haul. Thor, you are half full. Let's get you the other half full. That's uh, probably about the limit. Send you over to smelt, smelt and melt. I'm probably going to need to make some, um, uh, make some, 
storage for this uh, all this loot pretty soon. Oh, beep found a live one. Well, beep found a used to be a live one. So yeah, we're gonna need some iron storage pretty soon. I can't believe that one iron spider did pretty much all of this. I mean, I think what might have happened is a howler softened them up, but pretty much the iron spider was responsible for the the most of that. All right, so we were sending green, probably close enough to start melting this stuff down. Come on, that fits. Nine. Nine metals. And then, of course, we have the research tablets. Alright, Mr. Green. And then Hella. Wow, you were very loaded up. We're going to have a lot of materials, aren't we? Looks like our backup is here. Just in time for nothing. <laughs> it will be a little bit easier once I empty out the uh, bone dogs uh, to loot the rest of those corpses because the bone dogs are going to have obviously the biggest bag space. Got caught stealing, huh? Burrow says, no, wasn't stealing. I was borrowing. Merely borrowing. All right, in the... Let's see. Beep. I don't know what the maximum capacity for iron storage is in here, but I'm guessing it's around 100. Is Chez still... Oh, Hello's in a fight. Green. Yeah, just start shooting the the spiders that are in the water. I could start clearing them out. Alright, Swarm is home, which is great. So we've got uh, some iron clubs to melt down. Little did I realize, oops, little did I realize how little we would actually need this stuff. Um, and then, of course, we've got a lot of these uh, club weapons. That I can put away for now. And Red Rain, you've got plates. Research books. A backpack for a crafter. Steel bars. There's a lot of stuff that I need to um, create proper uh, storage boxes for. But uh, I'm not going to... This isn't a permanent base, so I don't want to invest too heavily in it. Alright, Red Rain and Thorns, time to head over here, and we will clear up the rest of the bodies. The rest of the Trade Caravan, I don't think, really had much value on them. Oh, some actual raw iron. Uh, whatever. I'm just going to have to make iron storage. Silver Shade, Frenchie, okay, let's go one by one, systematically. Ron has a... Uh, an eye that I never managed to sell. And that's it. Alright, perfect. Uh, so a lot of them do need healing. So let's get them rested. Because I am planning on basically turning right back around and heading back out. For weapon blueprints, armor blueprints, stuff like that. Chez finally made it over here. It's too bad there's no item furnace arrange button, huh? That would be a lot easier. 
And then Chez has the corpse. So let's go dispose of this corpse. I'm also going to need storage. So let's go and make some iron storage because... Where is my raw iron storage? Steel bars. I skipped over. It's just called ore. And I never remember that it's just called ore. A big thing. Ch I still don't know what that big thing. Ch Obviously a mod adds it in. Because I'm familiar with all. So there's my copper. There's my ore. I'm just going to put this right next to the processor. Or J will rather. I'm going to make sure this corpse does not have. Oh he still has armor. Good. We didn't want to dispose of that. And he had a little bit of co cannibal research. I'm sure there's more cannibal research to be had over there. Uh, so before I forget, let's use the rest of these books. And yeah, everything either requires rice or additional books. Thorns is literally just corpse camping them. Where'd Red Rain go? Uh, he didn't make it all the way over here. Alright, uh, I do have, I will have a lot of iron plates, so I can of course make a lot of bolts. So now it's time to systematically loot everyone here. Loot them of their meds. And, uh... Oh, I have bad news for you, buddy. Thorns particularly likes to eat cannibals. It is part of it. Wow, 118? Yeah, you're dead. Straight dead. There was not even, like, a... A wounded. Immediately dead. Hundred and eleven. Yeah, elder bone dogs are not easy targets. Um alright, so what I'm gonna do is quickly move the bone dogs to Swords of the Queen so I can use them to loot more easily. Cause then I can just click on that and oh, outside trading range. Trading range is dramatically reduced when you're in combat, so that you can't just like magically loot people mid-combat and throw gear around the battlefield, etc. I find it uh, a little annoying, but it, it, it totally makes sense to me, too. Uh, okay, so all these things that are stolen, I'm actually going to... Let's go ahead and make it all stolen off of the same corpse. So sometimes this is useful to stack uh, meds, is you all give it to one... Conscious body. If it's a dead body, it won't work. And then it it uh, it sometimes stacks it up a little bit better. Not always. Uh, it also whoa, those are different. It also works if you stick it into a box, uh, like a med box at, at at times. Not not perfectly, not all all the time, but sometimes that works too. Alright, Thorns is full up, ready to make a run to the incinerator. Red Rain, your turn, and you played at Bones or something, and wandered away. Hell is slowly trying to... Okay, Raid against me has ended. Yeah, no kidding. Um, Hell is trying to clear out some of the, uh, the buggery boos that are camping my bridge. Alright, Red Rain. Here you are. What is he doing? You are going to be follow green. Oh, he's got a limb in his mouth. That's what he's doing. He's very happy that he's been consuming dead bodies. And he's growling at them or something. I don't know. Bone dog. Just bone dog things. <laughs> oh, he just ate the severed limb. Alright, well, I hope that these cannibals diets aren't going to get you poisoned. Um, 
it's kind of hard to tell who his weapons here, who still has gear, because it really does blend in. Their, their like pants, sort of looks like armor to me at times. Um, but we'll get them looted up. All this precious iron. Who mined this iron for them? That's a that's that's a big question, isn't it? Like, all right, I get that like dust bandits can steal armor or whatever, but who who gave all these hungry bandits stuff? I don't know. Cuz or these uh cannibals cuz I don't I don't think they uh I don't think they processed it themselves. All right, Thorns is at the incinerator with a great big load of stuff to throw in. And then Thorns is going to help me empty out the incinerator of iron. Now it rounds down, so I'm not going to, I'm not super concerned. I mean, this is a lot of iron, right? I'm not super concerned about the rounding down, because if it does, yeah, big whoop. Um, you know what? Actually, let's, um, Silver Shade. Let's get you out here, too. Green. And Chess here is just walking around, super encumbered. At this point, even the simple act of walking is a, a labor for him. That gear is heavy. Rain and thorns. I think I'm just about done looting all this stuff. I know the iron spider still has some, but uh, I want to be thorough. Hey, silver shade. Welcome. It's a shootout. Green is the really good swimmer, so let's get him to uh, deactivate that spider. I know he swam up next to the other spider, but these spiders have been sort of glitched. And they're not really doing anything. They only serve to scare me like the boogeyman now. And I don't need a potential... I mean, it could turn fatal. Like, on a save and load, there is, of course, the possibility that they spring back to life. And I um, I don't want to take that risk. That's why I'm uh, killing them off. They make the guard dogs. As unwilling as they are as guard dogs. They do, I gotta say, make pretty decent guard dogs. But, uh... Their watch has now ended, so. Oh, look! There is one that thinks he can uh, leave. Mr. Cannibal, you do know how fast my bone dogs are, correct? You might be able to outrun Chez, but I don't think you're going to be out able to outrun anyone else. Mancatcher. Yeah, right. Alright, there it goes. That's spider number two. Right now, I'm just focused on deactivating the spiders. Eventually, I will... Um, I will... Uh, loot them fully. It's just that they're, they're not going anywhere, so... Alright, just for my convenience, I'm going to put all my crossbow people... All up in a row here. So I don't have to keep figuring out. Keep switching squad tabs. Oh, this spider does not like to be shot at. Too bad. No choice. No choice in the matter. And then I just have to be careful that uh, they don't spring to life and and come attack me or whatever. This is entirely possible. I'll just sort of keep the corner of my eye on them. That these spiders then go to the wharf and retaliate. How likely is that? I, I don't know. But until the likelihood is literally zero, I'm not going to feel all that safe. 
Look at that. We now already have 100 iron. I never knew that it would be so easy. Um, eh, let's get a second box going here. Mr. J. Mr. J is a... No. J-A-Y-E. Mr. J is someone else. All right, Chez is just sort of out here to guard bodies. Yes, there's still some left. Uh, Thorns, you have an empty bo uh, inventory. Let's go loot the rest of these. Oh, we down that one. How's our ammo doing? Pretty good. Let's get this one. Red Rain, you have a bunch of iron. Alright, I don't think these cannibals have another trip, or more than one trip left. I'm also going to be pretty loaded up full of crummy... Um, meds. Oh, Red Rain, you can be set on taunt. Oh, Red Rain's an adult now. I don't know when exactly that happened, but happy birthday. Welcome to adulthood, where I treat you still no differently than I did in childhood. Lucky you. Now, do I need to absolutely loot everything? No, I don't. I just want to get the majority of the metally bits, and I think I think I'm just about done. I don't think I need to do much more, because it becomes maybe cumbersome to watch. All right, we definitely just deactivated this spider. My plan is to get all of them uh, out. Actually, Red Rain, stick around, because we have a lot of um, stuff to loot here too. Because I don't really like having them looming. As they are. Come on, Red. Red. What, Cac? Oh, he's stuck. So there's a lot of iron plates. This is a, a really... I've never um, had an economy based upon murder. So that's essentially what this is. Call it what it is. I murder people for my iron. Um... I find, eh, you know, it's it's a little funny. All right, so we knocked that one out too. Look at these guys go. They're just iron spider minesweepers. Oh, we got that one too, huh? Dang. Uh, part of it is because we're just literally getting better at shooting. Maybe not this much better. I think we're just hammering them. Oh, well, that one's dead. Maybe some of these were already injured. Nope, they weren't. We're just crushing them quick. Which is good. Look at all that iron plate. Alright, those are never... They were always deactive. Oh, that one's rebooting. Uh, green. Go, go, go. Done. They're doing such a good job. Green will just sit out here. Done. Alright, we no longer have iron spiders on our doorsteps. Let me just double check. Dead, 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 dead. Yeah, they're all dead. That one's dead. It does, oh, that one, I don't think I looted, but I don't think Red Rain has any more space for anything. Alright, Mr. Thorns. And Red Rain. Ugh. What an economy I have. A weird one. But a thriving one. All right, 
right, so they don't lose their steel. Um, let's see, storage, Metacrate? Maybe if I drop them in a Medi, uh, it will ditch the stolen. I'm not exactly sure. So we're going to find out. Yes. Yes, it did. As you can see, they are stacking up quite nicely. So that's that's what I'll have to do. Is the, the problem with having a med crate is med crates are really, really annoying because idle characters will then... Um, uh, idle characters will constantly want to drop their meds into the crate. And that can be equally annoying. Um, I did... Okay, here's the medium backpack. So with this medium backpack, Crab will be able to haul the Naginata to weapon storage. That was the problem I was having before, is Crab was not hauling weapons to weapon storage because uh, he didn't have space in his inventory to carry them. So what will end up happening... Actually, let me... Um, let me equip these. If I fill up the weapon slots, any Naginata that I make will immediately go to storage. What's... Actually, interesting about these Naginata, their refitted blade quality, um, they're actually starting to become worth using. They're more powerful than a lot of the weapons I already have on my non-combat. Even on my combat, some of them are better. Oh, here is the um, Lost Howler. Who we are going to attack unprovoked. I'd like to kill him. Um, and then we can just burn his body. Dark, dark stuff here, I guess. Oh, here's a dead one. Dead one. Uh, when we have dead ones, let's see. Um, Chez. It's a dirty task, but the advantage... Uh, where are you, Chez? But the advantage of this dirty task is... Um, it trains strength really good. So I, I could basically have one... I, I said I didn't want to train strength, meaning I don't want to like purposefully or purposelessly haul cop corpses everywhere. Um... All right, the, I, I think at this... Oh, he doesn't even have an execute button. I think at this point, yeah, there's just... No way that that guy's ever going to be a threat to me. But, um... Yeah, I'm never going to train strength, but if he's encumbered because of his armor, and he's going to get strong because of it, that's fine too. Alright, Hella and Green. You guys have... Oodles of meds to stack up. Um, and then electrical components. And our uh, trade caravan will head out with that soon. Uh, Hella, you had some too. Alright, if anyone has small stack um, meds, I can basically remove the stolen tag pretty easily here. So I'm just going to go through each and every one of them. Oh, uh, Thor still has a lot of gear left. Plus, he had some cannibal blueprints. I wonder what these blueprints say. Like, how to eat human? Like, how to make armor make you look like, you know, I don't know, a weird can head? Sing Healy. Oh, yeah, that's Butcher's Pride. That's a, that's a pretty good weapon. That's why you have that on. Alright, um, stolen med tags. So, I went through all of the, these guys. Most of them shouldn't even have meds on them in the first place, unless I was, like, hard-pressed for healing. Alright, so let's go through the swarm. None, 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 none. Good. Ferris... Nope, nope, yes. Teeny little stack. Oboro, you have bolts? Oh, probably because you just manufactured them or something, I don't know. J and Geyser, and then the Keepers. Yes. Alright, all my stolen meds have been put away. Good, good. Resnick. Oh, we're done with the clothing bench. Alright, so uh, let's go and craft up some more. Let's see. Um, 
red black bandanas uh, a basket hat let's just do one of kind of everything it'll take them a while actually the gi pants I might want first I might actually want a bunch of them because I have a bunch of pantsless people I'm not crazy about how um, non rangers keep using the perch there but whatever And then, uh, now, now, actually, we have another raid? Cannibal raid coming up again. Yeah, I probably won't leave the caravan, uh, until the new raid shows up. Which makes the most sense. So it looks like we have a nice surplus of green fruit, so let's go... Alright, we're out of meat wraps, I know that, because we only had so much meat. Um, let's make some food cubes again. So Angel will get to work. Uh, do we have enough cannibal research? No. We need a lot of blueprints for the cannibal stuff. Cannibal helmets and cannibal armor. 16! Holy moly. That's a lot of cannibals I need to kill. Uh, Alright, so this ore storage here sucks. I say that because it keeps blocking uh, Resnick. So actually, Resnick, what I'm going to have you do is plate beat and haul to the armor plate. So this will help to remove some of the extra ore that I have. And then I can get rid of that spare ore box. And plate beating, of course, is still a um, is still a uh, armor smithing task. And I'm going to need a light over that. Because i got to see what I'm doing, you know? Alright, so I could definitely uh, add some additional chairs around here, or I'm going to have to figure out some way so that random people aren't out here. Robotics and Snowy, you were leather tanning, so I don't have any more leather to tan. Is that the case? No, that's not the case. I just have a full inventory of leather. Um, hmm. Jay, you just built the light. All right. Jay, take the leather and put it elsewhere. Soon I'll be using this leather for armor crafting. But until that time, I would like Snowy to continue. Yep. And let's check the stats of some of our keepers. So, Angel, you are a 52 cook. That's, or, uh, that's farming. A uh, 27 cook. That's still pretty good. Skith, um, I guess you were also a cook, doing the whole grogging, but I'm going to remove the grog because I want the wheat. Snowy, you've been making leather, armorsmith of 41, that's respectable, and Resnick's at 34. Uh, that makes sense, given that he has a racial penalty to armorsmithing, which is why I shoot out Paysom. Uh, Heresy's been making the electrical components, which we are now full on. Um, so, Angel, you're going to be... Or actually, no, no, no. Sorry. Angel, not not you. Uh, let's see. Jay, you're going to help to move some of these electrical components so that we can continue crafting them. Getting our science as high as, it sh as, high as we can uh, will be nice when it comes time to do robotics, I think. Just from a role-playing standpoint. I know robotics is a separate task. But uh, robotics actually does require you to make science components. Like electrical components to do it. Or stuff like that. Um, Alright. And then we had Crab. Who is our weaponsmith at 30. And Cat 1 quality. Actually, uh, Naginata at Cat 1 quality are going to be equipable. Which is very, very cool. And, um, as you can see here, Crab is properly disposing, or not disposing, but, uh, stashing the weapons, which is great. So, I could easily, um, range my way to get the, uh, the island clear. Uh, for now... Alright, 
leaving myself a personal note that the swarm is the caravan. Now these two uh, wanted to stay caravaneers, so I'm leaving them in there. And the next time I form up a caravan, I will decide who goes. Uh, I think it's pretty safe to say Thorns and Red Rain are going to be involved because they are our, the backbone of our caravan. So then I'll pick the other six. Uh, but we're going to wait until that next raid approaches. And this next raid that's coming, uh, obviously I've cleared out all of the Iron Spiders and I don't plan on Dragon anymore. We will either fight it fairly or we will flee, but we won't um, shy away from that one. Alright, Hella and Silvershade are now um, on watch. We've got a whole bunch of people sort of standing around, so when they're Stand around. I'll have them sit. Uh, one thing I probably should invest in, and this is something I've done in the past, is once I have the future base, the real base, uh, I will have chairs near the workplace that exists for the character. So, like, for instance, a weaponsmith that has a chair next to the weaponsmith so I can see when they're idle and they're not far from their workplace and have it be assigned seating of sorts. Um... That's sort of the, the future goal. Alright. Um, I don't think any Hivers can wear these body wraps. Like, they're just not shirts for Hivers. Uh, in fact, I do I do have Hiver leather vests. Let's see. I have Rattan. Okay. I only have Hive leather vests, but I probably want to wait for Snowy to be even more careful. Uh, capable of armor crafting before I start cranking those out. Because once I start cranking those out, I would like ideally to um, be able to wear it and have it be like decent quality. Alright, so that iron box there has been slowing people down, so I just removed it. Let's see, seeing Healy. Yeah, we do, we do need more stools though. Um, let's see. We could go and make some. I don't know why I've decided to place them around this table, but it does sort of give me a... It does really quickly help me assess who's idle, who's not. Which is comes with a, a benefit. Dying, but not dead. Oh. There is a lost howler here. I'm going to attack unprovoked. And... I don't want to get hit by that thing. Okay, hang on. Any opportunity to attack one of these big guys, I will take. So Chez is going to have a bit of a, a match here where he is going to go up against one of these things. Don't swing on me. No, Chez, get out there. Oh yeah, you want to swim after me? That's a bad idea. Alright, Thorns, go for the bites. Red Rain, go for the bites. Hell and Silvershade. So these uh, Lost Howlers do spawn here. Um... And sometimes they walk through. Often I don't see them in time. Ooh, that's a good hit. Pillar's like wanting to help, but not sure what how to help. And down he goes. Alright, let's loot him up. Free loot. And medical care for those who need it. My Bone Dogs and Chez all got hit. Alright, Mr. Chez. Gonna hop in a bed here. The Bone Dogs can just rest where they are. They heal up faster than uh, us Hivers. Animals play by different rules. Uh, Thorns, however, has research tablets. Putting those away. And another set of armor. Now, whoever um, 
ends up not going on the next caravan can end up uh, wearing some of this really ridiculously heavy armor until I have Hiver armor that's equivalent. And uh, they will be set to defend. So it will probably be one of the soldiers. And that's, that's what I'll do. If they're out caravanning, I need them to be able to run at a reasonable speed. But when they're at home, it's totally fine that they're super encumbered. Because all they have to do is basically stand on this bridge and, uh, and defend it, you know, from would-be invaders. Alright guys, well that's all the time I have for this episode. Uh, next episode, likely we're going to fight against those cannibals mano a mano, not using the iron spiders, and then head out and go do some other things. Whether it be a recruiting run, including the queen, because the queen is pretty close to getting a full, um, all the research that is possible done, and then she can leave with the queen's escort. Uh, but if you have ideas for places or things for me to do, drop me a line. And I do hope that you tune in next time. Thanks to all the viewers and the patrons supporting this series. I'll catch you all later. Adios.